You spoke to her? <sighs> For what? Well, Dasha. Just because I want to. What? Mustn't I feel bad? No need to feel sad that you had an affair? That you constantly lie to me? One mustn't be saddened by all of this, of course. What do you want? I left her a long time ago. You know that. What else do you want from me? You know what I want. It's impossible. Yeah? Since when is something impossible for you? If you're not going to sort this out, then I'll do it myself. Yes. Our Elena has left the company. She really should have filed for maternity leave. Now we need to find someone to lead the marketing department. Do it. Why didn't you look for someone to take over? You knew as well as I do that she'd have to take a step back sooner. Well, we thought, rather, I thought that she shouldn't take long. Um, and for that period, we could find someone else for the time being. Well, do it! Find someone already! This is your mistake! And now it's mine too because I'm the one in charge of this shop! Oh. Oh. Semyon, you really need to come over for dinner sometimes, especially when you get sick and tired of ordering pizza. You're going to starve without us. Or maybe become hypertensive. Semyon, if you'll need a warm light in the living room, you have a little panel and two switches. You'll figure it out. Hey, boys, tone it down, please. I can't hear myself. I'm sure you'll manage. Look, don't worry about me, okay? I'm a big boy now. I'm pretty sure I can manage with the adulting thing somehow. Thanks. See you later. So, um... <laughs> Bye. Bye? Right. Okay, enough. Tolia, Jora, come over here. Give me Jora, this. now. Now. No, it's me against Mom! Come on! Who's going Who's to win? win? Me or your dad? Huh. Come, come on! on. Yeah. Let's go! Here I thought you'd maybe want to celebrate with me. Well, now that I think about it, I could really use some company right now. My dearest grumpy sister, how are you? Lena, would you just forgive me, please? Don't worry about it, Tachana. I mean, you know that I'm always on your side. You do know it, right? Of course I do. You already know this. I love you very much. And honestly, I cannot imagine my life without you ordering me around. And what's this? Who's this? 
Why are they not using the outside bell? Waiting on someone? I'm not expecting anyone. Though the neighbor threatened to bring us fresh carrots from the country. You should be sure to ask who's out there first. Okay, my dearest. Love you. Bye. Open up, please. I know that you're home. Do you know who I am? Yes. So this is where you live? Yes. I do live here. Something wrong? That's clean. But very poor. I'm sorry. Are you trying to upset me right now? So this is your living room? Are there other rooms, or is this a studio? Ah, oh, bedroom. Is this where my husband made love to you? Listen to me, Dasha. You're already being- What? Inappropriate? Like, more appropriate than you were with him? Oh, and this is more interesting. What's so interesting in here? It's just a room. Nothing really special. Interesting that you are planning to let my husband's only child live in this dark little room. This is my child. Yours and my husband's. <sighs> what poor taste. Perhaps, but this is none of your concern at all. Yeah, you think so? Listen here. I'm asking for your forgiveness. I'm well aware of what I did in the past. I really was with your husband. It was a... a moment of weakness. Indecency. All right, call it as you like. Either way, I'm sorry about what I did. Do you know what I had to endure? No. He already cheated before. But it was... never serious. And then he would bribe me with expensive gifts. I have a huge collection of diamond watches. But he fell in love with you. But that's not really my fault. So you got pregnant with my husband and decided to keep the child? Yes. Trust me, I have no need for your husband's involvement in this. Mm. You don't get it at all. I am the one who needs that child you're carrying. Excuse me. <gasps> Lana? Simeon. Hello? Lana, what's going on? What's wrong? I have no one else to talk to, but I really need your advice. Hold on, don't cry. Just calm down, okay? I need to understand what you're saying. I can't talk to Tatiana. She's just going to torture me with her judgment. Can you please come over? Right now? No, only if you can. I'm not insisting, it's just... <laughs> no, no. Of course, I'll be there. I'm on my way. <sighs> Jana, I'm sorry. Something came up. I need to go right now. Uh, now? Yes, right now. A friend has issues. A friend? Yes, a very close friend. If you decide to leave, could you just lock the door? I'm so sorry, okay? I hope you understand. Mm. Thank you. Ugh. 
Things between me and Gorodetsky all happened very fast. It was over the moment it happened. I was just so confused after you left me. I know, Lena. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. What? It has nothing to do with you. She wants to take my child. What? Who wants to take your child away? Please. Dasha. She's Gorodetsky's current wife. Him too is egging him on. Were they the ones who've been calling you? <laughs> yes. This is my child. My child. Yes, Lena, of course it is. No one will take your baby away from you. But they are rich. He's the father. He has every right to be involved in the child's life. <laughs> You're getting way ahead of yourself here. Just calm down. That's not how it works. <laughs> no, why? They're going to get a lawyer. Say that I'm an alcoholic, pay the social services off, and then it happens all the time. Listen, it's gonna be all right. You don't have to cry so much. Things aren't as bad as they seem. Just keep the faith. There's a bright future ahead of all of us. Just hang in there. Yes, yes. Anyway, here's a tissue. Wipe the sniffles, okay? You wouldn't want your nose starting to look like a big potato now, would you? Simeon, you know what? What is it? I want potatoes, fries, unhealthy, oily, salty fries. Did you call the tow truck? Dasha. What is this? Thanks for coming. Come on, don't thank me. Either way, we're on the same team here. Right? Right. Everything's gonna be fine. We can still be happy together. We will be. You shouldn't have gone to Lena. You know that the girl is innocent. This is all my fault. No, I'm actually thankful to you. Mm, what for, Dasha? A father... has rights to his child. Dasha, you're starting again. What do you think, my dear? You get to make a baby with the first girl you meet, and here I am... It isn't my fault that you cannot have kids. <clears throat> <sighs> Dasha... It's going to be all right. I guess it's time to go. I'm starting to feel guilty here. I don't have anything to do tomorrow, and you have work in the morning. That's where I'll sleep. Mm. All right. All right then. Jana. Hello. I didn't expect to see you here at this time of the night. Unexpected, but nice, isn't it? Yes, of course. <laughs> um, I just decided to warm your bed tonight. Really now? Mm. There. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm. What? And how I cook meat? Mm. Should I cook you a tender veal with prune sauce on it for dinner? Jean, thank you so much, but I really wanted to join the guys at the bar tonight. Alright, but you plan on coming home at some point. 
Well, at some point, yes. Okay. <sighs> Jana, uh, I just wanted to, you know, define our boundaries. What? You and I slept together last night. Yes, that's right. We had an amazing night together. Yes, but that's not exactly the point. Last night was our very first night together and it wasn't a mistake. It might even happen again. But I have a request to make. Actually, two. I'm all ears. Hmm. Let's try to go with the flow, and then let's see where things go from here. Um, and then at work, let's be professional, hmm? <laughs> hey, mm. Jana. Look, I didn't mean to hurt you, okay? No, Please no, don't no, cry. No. Jana, no, no, stop. No, no, I'm fine. It's just that I'm... Uh, am I doing something wrong? Am I rushing things? Am I clingy? What am I doing no, wrong? No, 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 you aren't. Look, Lena always used to say that I'm a bit slow. She's not wrong. I see that now. Just give what me a I little doing? more time and I'll get the hang of it eventually. You'll see. You still love her, do you? No, why do you think that? Are you sure? Absolutely. Well, in that case, should I cook you meat? All right, then. Let's have veal for dinner, I guess. Let's cross the bridge when we get there. <laughs> All right, then. Now that we're here, if you are sure about your demands, then I suppose we can proceed from here. No. Yes. Then this means we have a tough, tough battle waiting for all of us. Then what should we do about that? First of all, you need to do a DNA test in order to prove the child's paternity. Do I have a choice? And secondly, we are going to use every possible loophole that is present in the system, and there are a few of them, and when we do, you prove that you're the father, and I will file for joint custody so that you will be given more access to the child, just like any father should have. Mm. I wonder if we can take the child away from her completely? This is based on what grounds? She is a shameless, promiscuous woman who sleeps with married men. And I think she doesn't have a job. Right, honey? Dasha, what are you doing? She's unemployed and immoral. Why don't you present her that way? Hmm? I'm sorry, Mrs. Gorodetsky, but all of this is mere speculation. That's about it. You have no proof to to corroborate your claims that- She will not be able to take care of the child properly, but the biological father can. Uh, let's do this. For now, we will set uh, basic attainable goals for ourselves. The joint custody lawsuit will assume the father's involvement in the child's upbringing. This is what we are trying to achieve, I believe. Mm. I see. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Gorodetsky. Do you not think Mrs. Gorodetsky is uh, slightly upset? Oh no, not really. She's just another unfortunate woman who will never have kids. Everything will be fine. Oh well. Hello? Tatiana? Yes, who's this? This is me, Simeon. Hello? Hello? Would you have an idea where your sister is right now? Why do you care? Oh, well, I've been doing some reading, and I've spoken to a couple of lawyers as well, and I found out that in situations like these, the law is on the mother's side. What exactly do you mean? <sighs> um... I'm sorry, I really shouldn't have said that. Like basically everything you say, now tell me. 
<sighs> Tatiana. I know that you don't have a family, and Lena has always been the center of your life. I know you don't like me, and that's fine. Why don't we call a truce? For one thing, we need to pool our resources together. And share everything we know. Where is she? Uh, would you know what happened? Hey, is anyone here? I hope there aren't any dogs outside. <gasps> Gee, Simeon. You really scared me. My heart almost stopped. Sorry. Let me help you with that. How did you find me? Actually, Tatiana told me. No way. Really? She told you? Well, I can be persistent when I need to be. And please forgive me because I accidentally told her about the situation. That's alright. Maybe it's for the best. Actually, I could have figured out where you are anyway. I know how much you love this place. I do. It's as if mom and dad still live here. They just went out for a stroll to the river. I just feel a sense of safety here. And that crazy woman won't find me. It's delicious. <sighs> but you have to understand. There is an issue here. And it won't go away just like that. I read up on the rights of the... the biological father in this case, and I found out that this can either have a positive or a negative outcome. It depends on the point of view. But in this case, you don't have a job, and that's not good. Listen, I'm reviewing job offers. I actually have quite a few. Why not work from home or remotely? There's a much simpler solution. You can go back to work. No, and you know why. I'll take care of you. I already said no. <clears throat> why don't you just tell me how you and Jana are doing? We're okay. Mm. I see, understood. Mr. Semyon Oligovich? What exactly did you see? That it already happened. <laughs> she won't let go of you. Are you jealous? Not at all. She always liked you, you know, and now you're a big boss. Hmm. Let's not talk about that right now. Why not? Should we talk about Gorodetsky? Yes, but... Uh, Semyon! Lena? Lena, Semyon! what's wrong? <laughs> Lena, relax. <laughs> Lena! Hang in there. <laughs> Lena, just hold on. Don't give birth yet. That's not up to me. <sighs> I I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Uh, what do we do about this? I'm sorry. Talk to me. I don't know. Take me to any hospital nearby. The baby can't wait till we get to the city. <sighs> okay, got it. Hold on. Lena, open up!
Easy, easy. Oh. It's easy, easy. We're good. We're good. Come on, come on. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, come. come on, dear. Miranova? There you go. Almost. There you go. It's Miranova. The doctor's handwriting isn't clear. Private? It's okay. It's yes, okay. of course. You're going Wait, to be uh, fine. Where do I go? If you're the father, come with me to the delivery room. No, All right, no, 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 no. your wife will give birth here. He's not my husband. It's yeah, really every wife right. uses her men in this really exact fine. moment. Uh-huh. Let's go, let's go. Miranovs, we're gonna welcome twins, but one of them is presenting to be in stasis. I'm not Miranova! Me. Why did you go to that house, huh? Will you please stop it now? Come meet your niece. Uh, oh, my dear little niece. Who's a cute one? Ooh, ooh. Look at how cute she is. Listen, Look at that. you aren't Marinovs. No. Uh, oh, dear citizens. Listen, it was just uh, a misunderstanding. The Marinovs are giving birth in a week, and it looks like you took their paid slot. It was not intentional. It's okay. I'm, uh, I'm ready to, to pay for every single thing that needs to be settled. Shama, I'll pay you back for it. And you can pay whenever you can. <laughs> he pretended to be the father then? I think so. I can't remember. It all just happened so fast. I think he went to pay for them now. <laughs> hmm? If it weren't for him, I wouldn't know what to do. Well, yeah, everyone is useful once in a blue moon. So are you two back together now? Who? Oh, Sharma? We're just friends. <laughs> hmm? You're my girl. Son of a... who's waking me up? I just fell asleep. Hello? Vic Victor, I want you to get me the curtains. Or those... I don't know, blinds, window covers, whatever it is that you call them. Well, what did you do to my friend? When I got home, it felt like no one lived in my place for a thousand years already. I warned you. Yeah, I know. So tell me what happened. I just held the child in my hands. What child? Oh, my kids? Mm-mm. Lena gave birth to the most beautiful baby girl today. She was red, fat fingers, big ears. I never seen such ears. They're like seashells. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's incredible. It is. Victor, get me the curtains, will you? Hmm? I like these options as well. They're nice, but... I saw the design project of your house, and I think... 
the first choice is still the best. Hmm? Listen, Jana, I'm so sorry. Mr. Semyon, I'm working. It's fine. Nadia can help them. Nadia! Nadia! Hmm? Just a moment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Which one are we taking? And I never came. Mm. For what? I am so sorry. Where? That I wasn't able to come to dinner. But I have a valid reason, though. <laughs> yes, I'm not offended. After all, you simply never came to your own home. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> and what? I'm going to cook dinner and then you'll bail out? No. We're gonna plan to have dinner again, but this time, I'll do the cooking. I'm not exactly bad at it. Hmm? All right. I'd like that. Sounds good. Tatiana? Something's wrong with her. I can feel it. What's wrong? She doesn't sleep. Well, only for 30 minutes, then she screams. As soon as I step away, she screams again. A fever. So it's fine then? No, I have a fever. I can't come around. And I told you to come back to the city. Well, there's fresh air here. So much. How's her stomach? I don't know. She hasn't learned to say that word yet. Hilarious. Tatiana, she doesn't sleep and I don't sleep. I will die. Please come over and let me sleep, huh? Lana, can't you hear it in my voice? I got the flu. Hmm, I can hear it. <sighs> mm -hmm. Why, what's wrong? No, everything's fine. <laughs> You've been really serious all week. I guess a lot's happened over the past few days. <laughs> Almost ready. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm. I will be back in a bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Calm down. Calm down. You got this. You're going to be fine, huh? Did I wake you up? No. Are you guys okay? How's the first week? It's alright. What's with your voice? Semyon, I'm dying. Lana, what's going on? She's asleep right now, but the moment I set her down, she screams. I'm about to fall over, I'm so tired. Should I come over? No, don't. Why should you? I'm all good here. Are you sure? Yes. Lena, um, just, just give me a call if you need me. Yes, Simeon. Of course I will. <sighs> Simeon. Wait up. Wait a second. What are you doing? I'm gonna call you tomorrow and ask him to organize everything for you. But I'm gonna ask that you don't tell anyone anything, all right? Wait, please hold on a second. Why don't we calmly discuss all of this, huh? Jana, what's there to talk about? I don't know, at least we can discuss how it's not normal to be hung up on your ex. <sighs> Look, I know it might not be a normal thing. 
But I am hung up. But... we're dating, aren't we? Yes, I wanted to live for myself, to have fun. But you and I wouldn't have lasted long anyway. I mean, your omelette tastes good, your feel is awesome, <laughs> and I just feel guilty. But we had fun together. You know what I'm thinking about? I've got a whole life ahead of me. Do I really want to turn my back on an awesome bachelor life and a beautiful single girl in favor of an... an exhausted woman with a newborn baby? And yet you chose her. Yes, I did. But will she choose me, though? The thing is, no one can really guarantee anyone happiness. I'll see you. Lock the door on your way out. I don't know what to do. Right. For starters, give her to me because I think she's seasick. Let me try to do something. Very funny. I'm all done. <sighs> no, 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 not here. Go to the bedroom. Go to bed, put on some jammies, and get some sleep. No, the couch will do. Okay. Uh, where are the diapers and everything else? I don't know where they are. There. Okay, what time do I wake you up? And by the way, what time do I feed Masha? Mm. To what? At two o'clock or in two hours? Mm. <sighs> well, I guess I'll just have to improvise. I love you so much, Lana. Hello, can I help you with anything? A boy or a girl? I'm sorry, and you are? I'm... the wife of the kid's father. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. And? Is she healthy? Absolutely. Any more questions? And who are you? Well, I'm the husband. Hmm, well... That is some news. It's quite a new development, actually. I need to talk to her mother. Listen, Lena doesn't need this kind of stress right now. She's barely hanging on. So if you came here to pick a fight, then... Can I hold her, please? What? Please. Keep her safe.
Why are you here? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Gorodetsky. Surprised, aren't you? So it's you. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I was the moron who traded this woman for my career, but now... I've got more than enough brains to correct my mistakes. Lena doesn't know about it yet, but... It's fine. I can improvise. Do you mind if I see the child? She's a girl. Six pounds, six ounces, twenty inches long. Her name's Masha. She's so beautiful. Yes, she is. You're lucky. Keep her safe. So then, let's go. I know you don't like this stuff, but you have to do it. You have to at least try. It's just... Hold on. You don't need to say anything. Hmm? Thank you. There you are. Shh. It's okay. Was I asleep all throughout the night? Unbelievable, right? <laughs> now let's take this one step further. Lena, will you marry me? Hmm. Do you need me to say yes now? Take your time. But if you say no... And I still keep taking Masha to bed at night, then sooner or later, <laughs> she might call me dad. How do we explain that to her, right? Fair point, yes. Remember, if you don't say yes now, I'm just gonna keep asking you the same question over and over, so in order to save time... You know when you're nervous, you can't seem to shut your mouth. <sighs> Look who's awake! <laughs> Who's the prettiest How of them all? How is your sweetie, my sweetie? <laughs> so sweet. 